Released in 1978, The Driver is a gritty action thriller that dives headfirst into the world of crime and high-stakes getaways. Directed by Walter Hill, the film revolves around a skilled and enigmatic getaway driver whose stoic demeanor hides a world of complexity. As the narrative unfolds, you'll find yourself hooked by a series of funny, shocking, and even sad revelations. Now, here's a question for you. Out of the many roles in this movie, which one was your favorite? The characters in The Driver bring a unique dynamic to the table, and we're curious to know which one resonated with you the most. As you continue watching, be prepared for the unexpected twists and turns that make this film a classic. And here's another question for you. What's your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this movie? We'd love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. So buckle up and enjoy the ride through the world of the driver where every moment counts. Hey, insights and experiences add depth to the conversation, making it even more engaging. And that's a wrap for now. In the gritty landscape of 1970s cinema, a sleek and enigmatic figure emerged, leaving an indelible mark on the world of action films. Directed by Walter Hill, the 1978 release thrust audiences into a realm of thrilling car chases, minimalist storytelling, and a protagonist whose allure was as mysterious as their driving skills were impeccable. Set against a backdrop of urban decay and simmering tension, the movie stars Ryan O'Neill as the eponymous character, a stoic and unnamed getaway driver sought after by criminals and law enforcement alike. His prowess behind the wheel is legendary, elevating him beyond the confines of a mere criminal to a symbol of cool detachment and calculated precision. The film's significance lies not only in its gripping narrative, but also in its influence on subsequent generations of filmmakers. The minimalist approach to character development and storytelling became a blueprint for directors seeking to infuse their work with a timeless, yet distinctly 1970s cinematic vibe. The driver's impact extends beyond its era, resonating with audiences who appreciate the art of storytelling within the constraints of a pulsating, high-stakes world. Its enduring legacy is a testament to its ability to transcend time and remain a touchstone for action cinema aficionados. In conclusion, the movie is more than a cinematic experience. It's a pulse-pounding journey through the underbelly of 1970s cinema, a masterclass in storytelling, and a defining moment in the careers of those involved. The 1978 film, The Driver, boasts a distinguished team of creators, producers, and directors who played pivotal roles in bringing the gripping narrative to life. Directed by Walter Hill, known for his innovative storytelling and dynamic approach to filmmaking, the movie reflects his distinctive style. His vision, characterized by intense action and minimalist storytelling, contributes significantly to its noir atmosphere. Producer Lawrence Gordon, recognized for his knack in selecting compelling projects, collaborated with Hill to ensure the production met the highest standards. Their partnership proved successful, and the film emerged as a notable addition to their respective careers. Turning to the casting process, lead actor Ryan O'Neill took on the challenging role of the enigmatic and skilled getaway driver. His portrayal adds depth to the character, creating a memorable cinematic experience. Bruce Dern, cast as the relentless detective, showcases his acting prowess in this cat-and-mouse thriller. The chemistry between O'Neill and Dern on screen intensifies the suspense, making their performances key elements of the success. Interestingly, during the casting process, the filmmakers prioritized authenticity, opting for actors with a genuine connection to their roles. This decision contributed to the movie's realism and the audience's immersion into the high-stakes world of crime and justice. In supporting roles, Isabella Janney and Roni Blackley deliver compelling performances that round out the cast. Ajani brings a mysterious allure to her character, while Blackley's portrayal adds emotional depth to the narrative. The driver stands as a testament to the collaborative efforts of its creators, producers, and cast. The seamless integration of Hill's direction, Gordon's production expertise, and the compelling performances by O'Neill, Dern, Ajani, and Blackley solidify its status as a classic in the crime thriller genre. The careful casting choices and commitment to authenticity further enhance its impact, creating a lasting impression on audiences. In summary, this cinematic gem is skillfully crafted by a talented team who brought their collective vision to fruition. The film's enduring appeal can be attributed to the dedication of its creators and the outstanding performances of the cast. 
influencing the creation of Driver and its subsequent sequels, The Driver from 1978 holds a significant place in cinematic history. Quentin Tarantino, in his book Tarantino, The Man, The Myths, and His Movies, recognizes it as one of the coolest movies of all time. The film's rough cut, initially exceeding two hours with an additional action scene, stirred discussions about a longer director's cut. However, Walter Hill, the director, dismisses this as an urban myth. Despite a forced introductory sequence in the US DVD to clarify characters removed from theatrical prints, Hill maintains that the extended version was never his intended cut. This succinctly outlines the movie's impact, its role in inspiring subsequent films, and the debates surrounding its runtime, all contributing to its lasting influence on cinema. Isabella Janney, a key figure in The Driver, later expressed dissatisfaction with the film's impact on her career. She regretfully stated that her involvement led to a downturn in the quality of American offers she received, attributing her decision to the pressure she felt after the success of the story of Adele H. Despite reservations, she accepted the role, driven partly by the desire to venture into Hollywood and her positive impression of director Walter Hill. However, she later realized the decision had negative consequences. Cheryl Smith had a significant role in the original, longer cut of the movie. Unfortunately, her subplot was excised, resulting in the removal of all her scenes. Director Walter Hill openly regretted this decision, praising Smith's acting skills and acknowledging the loss of valuable content from the film. The film's impact extends beyond its runtime debates. In Edgar Wright's Baby Driver, its release date is cleverly referenced as inmate 28,071,978, paying homage to Walter Hill's work. This subtle nod in a contemporary film underscores its enduring influence on the cinematic landscape. In summary, The Driver not only sparked career challenges for Isabella Janney, but also saw the removal of pivotal scenes involving Cheryl Smith. Its imprint is further solidified through subtle tributes in later films, showcasing its lasting impact on cinema. Walter Hill sought approval from veteran director Raoul Walsh for the original script, a gesture reciprocated with Walsh expressing his approval. The film, initially intended for Steve McQueen, faced rejection due to McQueen's reluctance to revisit car-centric roles, a sentiment rooted in his prior automotive film experiences. Hill, previously involved in iconic films like Bullet and The Thomas Crown Affair, had penned The Getaway in 1972. Drive drew significant inspiration from the driver, evidencing the latter's enduring impact on cinematic narratives. The influence is a testament to the driver's narrative depth and Hill's directorial approach resonating with later productions. Isabella Janney made her Hollywood debut in The Driver, marking a significant career milestone for the actress. In this movie, known for its distinct characters, the main protagonist is referred to as The Driver, emphasizing roles over personal names. Despite the film's disdain for firearms, the pragmatic nature of the character is revealed when he defends himself with a 45 caliber Wild West-era Colt Peacemaker aligning with a cowboy loner persona, even if the weapon is considered antiquated for the 1970s. In a departure from conventional naming conventions, none of the characters in the movie are assigned personal names. Instead, they are addressed by their occupations. This unique approach adds to the film's distinctive narrative style, contributing to its portrayal of a gritty, nameless world. The driver's influence extends beyond narrative choices, shaping the trajectory of Isabella Janney's career as she navigated her first Hollywood role. The movie's commitment to character anonymity and the driver's choice of weaponry, though rooted in the Wild West era, adds a layer of complexity to the storyline, showcasing its unconventional and enduring impact on cinematic narratives. In summary, The Driver not only serves as Isabella Janney's introduction to Hollywood, but also establishes a character-driven, nameless world that defies traditional storytelling conventions. The portrayal of the character's pragmatic use of a cult peacemaker contributes to the film's lasting influence on cinematic narratives, proving its significance in the realm of Hollywood. The titular driver, a man of few words, speaks only 350 times throughout the film. His minimalistic dialogue adds to the movie's unique atmosphere. Torchy's Bar, a familiar setting, reappears in two other Walter Hill films, 48 HRS and Streets of Fire. Tara King, known as Frizzy, makes appearances in both The Driver and 48 HRS. Director Walter Hill cites artist Edward Hopper's works as a major visual influence on the film. 
This influence is evident in the movie's cinematography and aesthetics, showcasing Hill's deliberate choice to draw from Hopper's artistic style. Known for its straightforward narrative and visual choices, the movie stands out in its simplicity. The deliberate use of limited dialogue and recurring settings creates a distinct cinematic experience. Tara King's consistent presence adds a connective thread between the film and other works in Hill's repertoire. In summary, the minimalistic approach to dialogue, recurring settings, and visual inspiration from Edward Hopper's art contribute to the distinctive cinematic identity of the movie. These elements, along with Tara King's recurring role, showcase Walter Hill's intentional and focused directorial choices in the film. Isabella Janney's decision to join the film stemmed from her admiration for Walter Hill's earlier work, particularly his 1975 film, Hard Times. Despite later expressing dissatisfaction with its impact on her career, Ajani's initial motivation was rooted in her respect for Hill's directorial prowess. Released in 1978, it draws inspiration from La Samurai, shaping its narrative and style. Hill's creation pays homage to the earlier work while establishing its own distinctive identity. The minimalistic dialogue and character-driven approach reflect the influence of Le Samurai, creating a cinematic experience that resonates with simplicity and purpose. In summary, Isabella Janney's association with the movie was influenced by her appreciation for Walter Hill's previous film, Hard Times. Additionally, the film's foundation in the aesthetics of Le Samurai showcases the deliberate influence that shapes its unique cinematic identity.